to run across the Cottingwood goal. Has his second bounce, then delivers the ball out wide. It's out toward Carlson on the outer side. Punched away by Williams. Missed by Irwin. It's missed by Alden Sundry. And Fitzroy a chance to come forward now through Will, uh, Lewis. Lewis. As it was tapped forward by Serafini. Lewis gets a hand pass over the top to Carlson. Fitzroy once again coming forward. On to Lewis again. Lewis steadies. Drives the long kick down towards the forward pocket. Herbert coming across. A great mark by Herbert. He'll steady things down for Fitzroy. The ball up Collingwood. Half forward come Ruck Rover. Des Herbert. The chance of steadying and maybe sealing this game. He's right on the boundary line. About 35 metres out from goal. Yet to put his first goal on the board. There's the distance. The little scoreboard in the back saying that it's an eight-point advantage at the moment. Herbert's kick goes forward across the face of goal. Men Glendale, though, the mark at the back. So once again, Fitzroy with the opportunity, and not only the opportunity, but they have the chance of steadying things down and letting that clock tick a little bit further away. The clock has now ticked to the 26-minute mark of the final term. Rendell a chance to goal from here, looking for his sixth goal. He's bent it too much. It's a real hook shot. He put it right around the corner. Too much hook on it. And I thought, Bobby, that uh, he could have gone back a lot further and opened up the goal for himself. But anyhow, he can't complain. He's kicked five goals. It's Fitzroy still in front. It's a nine-point advantage they hold. At the 26-and-a-half-minute mark of the final term. The Cormac in towards half-back. No mark completed. Taken here by Clayton, who's caught in possession. Bit late with the hand pass. We've got it out to uh, Carlson, who put the ball in long. It's very long. It's into the square. Can it be a mark? No, they can't take the mark, but it's through for one point to Fitzroy. Conning would have a hard job to do from here to try and get back into the game. 27 minutes have gone, and they're facing a 10-point deficit. For Collingwood to have any chance, it's got to be straight up the ground, a quick goal to, uh, to enable them to come back to that centre bounce. As Gary Wilson, I thought, took the mark, but it's full play on as Craig Davis comes across. Davis will think about the hand pass, Alex now to use the left foot and go forward. Brewer and Serafini. Brewer wins out on that occasion, does it well as Ross Brewer goes for the short pass and finds Peter Dacos. And Dacos, a beautiful kick of the football, is within kicking distance, about 35 metres out from goal attempting to kick his third goal and make the margin between the sides four points. Ten points the difference now. 27 and a half minutes have gone. Dacos kicks a goal. So it's back they come. Collingwood coming back after that goal kicked by Dacos. Can they get another one to take the game out? Or can Fitzroy get one to, I won't say, seal the game, but grab another 10 or 11 point lead? Dacos, good goal. Good play there by Brewer. That short pass to get it into him. That's... Collingwood and Fitzroy, the first semi-final at the MCG. Four points the difference in favour of Fitzroy, but anyone's game. From the bat, Alexander against Atkin. Atkin wins the, wins the knock, almost taken by King. He comes on again, gets a quick hand pass back. Picked up by Barham, over the top. Olsen went, went too far for Olsen. The Collingwood acting skipper in Ray Shaw puts the short pass forward. Craig Davis, no mark by Davis, but it's a push in the back. And uh, Craig Davis, a beautiful kick of the football, but uh, whether he can make the distance at this stage of the game, it's hard to say. But Davis now, with three goals on the board, hopeful of making it four. Can he make the distance? It's a beautiful kick from Davis, right up to the goal square. Players fly high, it's grabbed up over the shoulder. Curry would have hit the front. A beautiful goal by Ross Brewer. A great goal, in fact, and it may be the match winner as Brewer kicks his third goal. Well, what a great game. What a great game in front of a great crowd. Firstly, we had Collingwood the winners at halftime, then Fitzroy came back to lead by 10 points over Collingwood. And then Collingwood now snatched the lead again at the closing stages of the game. 29 minutes have now gone. Have Fitzroy's chances gone? Or can they get a goal? Look at Kink trying to urge his teammates on. Two points in favour of the Maggies. And time running out. It's taken here by Manane. Fitzroy about to go forward. Can they get a goal? Will it go? No, it's touched off the back of the pack. One point the difference. One point in Collingwood's favour with the time clock ticking away. Fitzroy's season for 81 could be coming to a close. 133 to 132. 1919 to 1918. As Peter McCormick puts the ball forward. Atkin was up high. Gets it down towards Magro. Couldn't handle it cleanly. Alexander tried to force the ball forward. And umpire Mike Dyer adjudicates by saying, I'll bounce the ball on the half forward line for Fitzroy. 30 minutes have gone, and this is the final quarter. One of these teams will drop out. At present, it looks like Fitzroy. They're a point down. Alexander can't get it out of the pack. 
and once again the ball will be bounced on the half forward flank for Fitzroy. That's about 65 metres out from their goal. The ball will be put down by umpire Mike Dye, who was umpiring today with Peter Cameron. Alexander up high, backhand attack to Lowry. He caught, though the kick was smothered. A chance for Keith. He puts Collingwood up there over the half forward line. Now it's a chance for Smith. Smith looks for a hand pass across and taken by O'Neill. O'Neill through the centre. Can he get it down quickly enough? Oh, the kick's a poor one. Drop short and the mark has been turned out by Olsen. Olsen now goes out wide with three Collingwood players and Brewer takes the mark. Brewer's going to steady things down. Gives a hand pass out wide. It's accepted by Craig Davis. He's steady. He's playing that steady in game to try and hold things up. He's kicked smothered. It goes over the boundary line and a throw-in will take place. The ball on the Collingwood half-forward flank. Fitzroy need a point to level the scores. The time clock approaching the 31-minute mark of the final term. That's Alexander getting the tap out, taken by Williams, who was caught in possession. It's called play on. Smith dives on it, but that won't help Fitzroy's chance, of course. They have to get the ball down to the uh, forward zone to get a score. 31 minutes have gone. There's the board. 133 to 132. Only one point between the sides as Alexander gets it down. Tommy Hapey having a close look at, at the thing. It comes up. Laurie couldn't take the mark. Nibble Taylor comes through for Fitzroy. From centre half back, he puts the long kick into the centre of the ground. But in the way is Bill Pickin once again. He thought of playing on, then realised he didn't have to. He can take his time and go back. He's been told to hurry up by umpire Mike Dye, and I would suggest he do that. And from the centre, Pippen goes for a short pass into the half-forward zone. He's been tapped away and picked up by Olsen. Given to Barham. Barham goes goalward. It's dropping short. And Cotting would have won this game. Cotting would have taken out the first semi-final by one point. 19 goals it is. 19-19 to 19-18. And Cotting would have won the first semi-final by one point over Fitzroy in a, in a thrilling game of football for Melbourne.